Hi Chris. So obviously a hugely disappointing day here in the Highlands, a 5-0 defeat to Ross County. Can I just get your uh, reaction to the result and performance please? It's obviously it's, it's difficult. Uh, first of all, I think fair play to County. I think they it battled as it played as it worked as. Did all the basics much better than us and uh, you know, 5-0 didn't flatter them, let's be honest. Let, let, let's not miss about here. And, I'd like to apologise to the fans that travelled up here today and, and went to stacks. It simply wasn't good enough. Uh, players know that themselves, managers still lose, and we all know. Uh, and you know, we put yourself behind and you make it difficult because for the basics, just basics defending, even though they played it, it's a simple run at the channel, go for the first ball and go for the first one. Second one, we've got a chance to clear the lines, we don't. Whether it's a handball or not, it doesn't matter. Put the ball on the stand and deal with that later on. Uh, and you're 2 0 down at half time. Second half, obviously, again, poor goals from their point of view, uh, and it was capped off a, a penalty at the end, make it 5 0. So, massive disappointment, uh, but obviously, the boys need to rally. They've got a game Tuesday night, they'll, they'll get away from it, and it, it's a good thing that we've got a chance to, to go and play. And I think for me, as an inconsistency in, in terms of performance, we've played, been playing one good game, poor the next one good game, poor, can it be like that? And when things go wrong, is it Willing games? That's we need characters in the dressing room to stand up and take charge in the park and I don't think many has did that today. Is that one of the more concerning things? Obviously Ross County are a good side, they've got an attacking threat, but they didn't have to work hard for the five goals today. Definitely. The basics like run hard, work hard, make sure the man you're up against them. They have the good players, can't they? You know, they're a good side and you know, fair play to them a day, they deserve to win. But it's just for us as a team learning and moving forward, uh, you, you can't capitulate, you can't make it easy for teams, you know, no matter what, one goal, ch two nil, one goal, goal changes it, uh, and you know, you've just got to put your hand up today and say simply we weren't good enough and we, we folded a bit, which is, which is a, an indictment of the team, it's, it's, it's something we need to rectify. Timing, timings of the goals were poor as well, early on, nine minutes, just before half time, just after half time. Definitely, you know, it's, I don't think it's like a good time to lose a goal any time, to be honest with you. But as you say, I right, right, you know, right, and you're getting it 1 0, you can regroup again. And, you know, I thought we started the second half all right. I didn't think we started it badly. We, we get caught again, and 3 0, 4 0, and then obviously at the end of 5 0, it's, it's game over. Uh, so, it's something we'll have to look at, learn from, and, and react the right way quickly because we've got a really tough game away to Queen's on Tuesday night. Would you put it down to, Chris, you used capitulation? I think that was a word maybe used after the, the year United game as well. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's hard to say because it's been a great week in training. Even before the game, <laughs> well, it was great. The boys were looking great. And then it's about being, being big characters on the pitch. I think when things go wrong, some people, some players look as if they're going to shells and that, that can't happen. It can't happen. It's... It's not on, you know what I mean? It's, you've got to react the right way. You've got to say, I'm going to be the man that's going to lead the team. Or, and that, that just doesn't go for me, Jim McAllister, Mark Spears, both kids are. That just goes for every single player on that pitch. You've got, you've got to hurt them, don't get me wrong. Fantastic group of boys, and they are all hurting in that dressing room, there's no doubt about it. But it's alright saying that after. It's when you're on the pitch, you've got to show that wee bit of grit, a wee bit of heart, a wee bit of aggression. And I think that's what they lacked a bit today. Essential now to go and show those characteristics down at Queen of the South? Definitely, and I've got no doubt the boys will act the right way. As I say, a great group of boys. I, I'm really enjoying being here, and uh, I love the boys, and, and I'm, I'm sure they'll act the right way. And, you know, I think we've had, especially after the United game, we'll act the right way, uh, and I've no doubt that the boys will act the right way this time as well. Just on a personal level for yourself, you've had to go off today uh, as your groin. You're saying it's a different uh, it's injury today? It's the right side. I felt my left and it's the right side. Just the, the words end there. I went to press the boy and change the direction. He's come in. I've just overstretched it. So it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. It's an <laughs> end to a poor day for me. Obviously early to, to kind of gauge it, but chances of being involved on Tuesday? We'll see how it settles tomorrow. You know what I mean? You can't really gauge after the game, but uh, you know, we'll see how it settles. Excellent, Chris. Thank you uh, for taking time to talk to us. Um, commiserations on the result. Yes, sir.